Hi Dalman, uh, can you uh, briefly explain what cell broadcasting is? Cell broadcasting is a rarely used feature of the GSM network. Uh -huh. Usually it is uh, being used for advertisement purposes or other, but currently it is a dormant feature of GSM. Okay. So why are we using cell broadcasting? Okay. Cell broadcasting is geospecific. We can target specific locations and inform people in that location. Yes. So you can say, this village you go, this village you stay. Okay. Second, Cell broadcasting does not congest in case of emergency situations, unlike okay. SMS and voice calls. Okay. Third, it is scalable. Okay. You can geoscalable, you can send thousands to millions of people in just okay. an instant. Okay. Next, we also have it is secure. Unlike okay. SMS, anyone can send SMS. Anyone yes. can just spread any messages. Unlike cell broadcasting, if you order for you to cell broadcast, you need to connect directly to the system of smart. Yes. So only people in authority can send send and send cell broadcast messages. Okay. And how did we use the cell broadcast as part of our system? Yes. This cell broadcast has really great potential in informing people since you don't need to have load, you don't need to register your cell phone, all you need to do is just turn on your cell broadcast feature. Okay. So our system handles this way. The information from the authorities is say for example from Pag Asa or okay. e -box, okay. will access our server online okay. to a secured network and they will give an interface with maps and message box. Okay. What they need to do is just click on the map what location do you want to broadcast? Okay. Say for example, SMC DC Blue. Okay. Maybe Delman to illustrate it better, uh, would you mind uh, showing sure. showing me the the map in the in the system? Let me check it. No, no, no. This one will do. Okay. So let's say for example here. This is the map of Cebu. Okay. We want to broadcast a message in SM Cebu. Okay. What we need to do is just click on the map SM Cebu, SM Cebu, and type in the message. Uh, okay. Say for example, this is a test message. Okay. Then if the uh, authorities will have to just send the message. Okay. Do you have, do you have, do you have a mobile uh, receiving cell, cell broadcast right now? Unfortunately, we're now offline because we're restricted only to broadcast. Okay. Okay. But uh, I get the general idea, but from an end user perspective, of course, uh, is this, are, are users going to be charged for, for this service? That's why what I, one of the features of cell broadcast is you don't have to have load. All you okay. need to do is just turn on your cell broadcast. It's okay. like FM and AM radio. Okay. It's being broadcast in the message and you will just receive the message okay. flashing in your screen. Okay. Unlike SMS, you have to go to your inbox, open the message. Okay. Cell broadcast automatically flashes in your screen okay. the information. Uh, Finally, again, what ideally, what kind of uh, situations or scenarios uh, would this be most applicable? One of us to enter a project is it's applicable in any scenario. Okay. Since it's information dissemination. Say, for example, volcanic eruption. Broadcast all areas within the area that is vulnerable to okay. evacuate. Okay. In any situation, traffic, do not proceed to this area, there's an incident, move back. Okay. So you can command people. Anytime, anywhere, even if they don't have load, they okay. have that information in hand.